Greetings folks. This very exciting box of foam is a scale fox slope sawer from Windrider in Hong Kong. This was sent as a gift from my very good friend Andrew Crampton. I'm a very lucky boy because this is the sort of slope sawer I was absolutely looking for. So this fox is a beautiful kit. It, it, clicks together very well. It's designed as a light wind sloper, uh, but if you stiffen it up and add a bit of weight, it makes a, a very good fast sloper as well, which is what I want to use it for. We get strong winds here, so uh, not a lot of opportunity for light wind slope soaring. So I'm going to stiffen up the wing tips, uh, laminate up the wings, add weight, and toss it off my favorite slope down at 40W. So there's the tail section. Elevator just slots in there like that, and you, you do glue that one in. This is designed to sort of lock into the fuselage, the front part of the fuselage, and that just clicks together nicely. And the designer actually just tapes the fuselage together, and that's enough to keep it solid. Got a wing spar there, nice tight fit. Slots in nice and tight to the fuselage. And there you go, it's virtually put together. Pop in some servos underneath and uh, in the tail, uh, there's provision for a servo up in the front there and a push rod going down to the elevator. Provision for a, a servo in the tail there, I think. Reminds me a bit of the Jart, doesn't it, Jason? And comes with some goodies, comes with some reinforcing tape, uh, a little landing wheel which pops in here. I think I'm just gonna shave that off because the landing wheel yeah, it's a good scale detail, but it doesn't have a lot of use for me. Push rods, we've got a little nose cone to pop on there, or you can chop that off and put a, a motor on there. Uh, we get a spare canopy as well, instead of a foam canopy, and you get a, a push rod for the elevator, which I probably won't use. It's a very, very slim wing, fine taper. Uh, the tips are quite flexible, so I think I'm going to put some three millimeter carbon fiber edge on to reinforce just that tip there. We've got a, an embedded spar going all the way along there, so it is quite stiff. A, a big long ailerons there. I think they'll be quite flexible, so I'll have to laminate them, them up, I think. Can't wait to get it going.
So there we go, that's the Windrider Fox all uh, built and ready to go. We've got the weight to about 550 grams, or I think that's about 19 ounces or something like that. Made it a bit heavier than uh, the stock setup, but I've laminated the wings, put the servos uh, right down on the tail for the elevator and the rudder, strengthened the whole thing with tape and laminate. Canopies hinged at the front with tape, magnets at the back, uh, X6R receiver there. I've got a 1300 3S battery in the nose which just about balances it. I may need a little bit more nose weight but we'll see. Uh, CG is just behind two inches back from the leading edge but should be right to go.